Hi YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to put on a power riser. These. First of all, so what you're going to want to do, you want to make sure the straps off like this. You're going to just slide your leg through. And usually, you'll put your shoe on, but in this case, I'm not going to be jumping on until a bit later. So, I will do that later. And you'll usually have these straps, take them off like this. Strap. Make sure they're as tight as you can because you don't want them to flop off and you will fall. And to be aware, when you buy these, which at the end of the video, I will show a link on the screen where you can get them. But when you buy these, you can get ones with a uh, button type things or things. Kind of like what's things. usually on your skates at some places. Yeah, like if you've ever gone to a skating place, like a roller skating, you can buy those little strap thingies. And uh, I got these at GetJumpingStilts.com, which I'll put the link on the screen afterwards for $450. And then the other one's over there. And I got the package which is a really good deal to get a helmet, a carrying bag, and pads. Okay, so uh, anyway, back to how to put them on. Okay, well, now that you have your foot secure in here, make sure they're as tight as possible. Usually your shoe will make it so these are on, so they're a bit... So you can't yeah. lift up your foot. So yeah, like, so right now, it's kind of yeah. loose. My foot should be all over this. Right here, this is kind of the tricky part. Um... I think we had a bit of a difficulty trying to get this on first. It's going to be behind your leg. You're going to strap it around. And you're going to pull it. He's still having difficulties. And go like this. You're going to want to get go. it tight. And you're going to want to make sure this one's tight. Because if those ones aren't tight and this one's aren't tight, you're just going to jump out of your jumping stilt. And that will probably hurt like really bad. Once you have it on, have it like this. Always put your knee pad on first before you get this on. Because if you don't, it will basically just make it so you have to take it all off again. And then, usually it's wise to put your elbow pads and your hand pads, like your wrist guards, on after you do this. So you can get done doing the straps without difficulty. Always wear a helmet because if you fall, you will hurt yourself really bad. And then... These are usually make you about two feet taller, so I can probably put my other leg up on the bed and still be acting like I'm standing. And uh, when you're standing up, you probably want to grab onto the wall or something and walk around, get a hang of it. And we're gonna be showing how to stand up and walk after this. We're gonna we're gonna make another video. And but after you do that, you do the exact same thing to the other one. It's in my bag though. And then. You get up and you just get a hang of it and walk. They're pretty easy and pretty hard. Uh, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, check out our next video, which will be on the link of our website, of our website, dragon1.org. Uh, so pretty much just click on the next one, how to walk on jumping stilts. Okay, uh... Oh, and if you aren't on the website getting this video, go to the website. I'll put that link up on the screen, too. Okay, see ya. Bye.